The laser weapon, Trident, was presented for the first time in Ukraine. The installation is capable of destroying drones and aircraft at a distance of up to 5,000 meters. This was reported by media with reference to a video of the tests, which was published by the commander of the Unmanned Systems Forces, Vadim Sukarevsky. The video was released during the conference, European Defense Industry, Prospects for Cooperation with the Ukrainian Defense Industry. It is stated that the Ukrainian laser can destroy, strike drones, aerial bombs, crews and ballistic missiles at a distance of up to 3,000 m, helicopters, airplanes and reconnaissance drones, at a distance of up to 5,000 m. In addition, it turns out that the laser can be used to blind drones, cruise missiles, helicopters and aircraft at a distance of up to 10,000 m. The tests also demonstrated work on a ground target and the use of a laser to blind the camera of a fiber optic FPV drone. Judging by the published video, although the laser complex is equipped with an optical electronic station, targeting is carried out manually using a joystick, and not in automatic mode. However, it seems that the complex is still at the stage of a functional prototype, so this function will probably be added later. Let us recall that in December last year, Sukarevsky said that Ukraine has a laser weapon called Trident. Then he emphasized that it allows shooting down aircraft at a distance of more than 2 kilometers. Later, the Ukrainian armed forces reported on the testing of a new laser weapon. It was noteworthy that this installation can melt metal. The commander of the unmanned systems forces said that Ukraine will soon have the ability to shoot down Russian Shahid-type attack drones using laser technology. The weapon in question is called Trident, which Ukrainian developers created in just a few months. According to Sukarevsky, this development is already successfully undergoing tests and can burn through metal and shoot down aircraft. I am supporting this project so that we can effectively shoot down Shahids, enemy reconnaissance drones, and ensure the defense of strategic facilities and our population centers using technological solutions. We are giving the manufacturers and the military the vector to fantasize on all these topics, he said. The military man added that soon, along with mobile fire teams, which, as everyone is used to, have machine guns and thermal imagers that shoot down Shahids, there will be the same vehicle, only with a laser. Sukarevsky emphasized that thanks to such developments, Ukraine can become not only an agricultural, but also a technological country. The American military believes that North Korea is transferring thousands of short-range missiles to Russia. However, this information looks very dubious, Defense Express military expert Ivan Kirichchevsky said on air at Espresso. According to him, the statement by the commander of the U.S. Pacific Forces, Admiral Samuel Paparo, looks rather strange because not only North Korea or Russia but even China are not capable of producing such a quantity of missiles. The production of these missiles depends on substances that are in short supply in the world, the expert said. He does not rule out that when it came to deliveries of short-range missiles, they meant rockets. The expert notes that Ukrainian intelligence reported that the DPRK transferred at least 200 M1991 missile launchers, which have a firing range of up to 60 kilometers with a 240 millimeter caliber rockets to Russia. Kirichchevsky said that even Patriot is not designed to intercept missiles from MLRS, so in theory, we would need an Iron Dome for such threats. But obtaining an Iron Dome is such a sad and long story that it is not worth dwelling on it, he added. Kirichchevsky also commented on the information that the Russians had begun dropping explosive objects from the Shaheds. According to the expert, 16 such cylindrical charges, 40 centimeters long, were found yesterday, which could indeed have been dropped from drones, but only one of them detonated. However, 
Kiriczewski noted that there is no 100% evidence that these objects were actually dropped by the Shaheds. Taking only one option related to the Shaheds is not entirely adequate because the Russians are taking various measures, the expert emphasized. As reported recently, the British publication The Guardian, citing the commander of the U.S. armed forces in the Pacific region, Samuel Paparo, wrote that the military assistance that China and the DPRK are providing to Russia in the war against Ukraine threatens his region, since Moscow is providing critical support to both countries in return. In particular, he said that the DPRK allegedly sends thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands of artillery shells and thousands of short-range missiles to Russia. The Guardian used the word missiles, which is used for cruise and ballistic missiles, while rockets, such as those for MLRS, are called rockets in English. Also yesterday, the State Emergency Service of Ukraine reported that Russian drones allegedly began to scatter explosive objects. Such objects were found in Kiev, in particular after another raid by Russian UAVs. However, the State Emergency Service did not directly say that they were talking specifically about Shaheds. Russian army has lost record 140,650 number of troops in Ukraine war since the start of the year, Commander-in-Chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Oleksandr Sersky wrote on Telegram on Saturday. Attempts by the occupiers to break through our defense have resulted in record losses for the Russian invaders, Sersky said. Sersky thanked the soldiers for their resilience and accuracy. Russia lost 1,240 soldiers, two multiple rocket launch systems, and about 50 artillery systems in the war in Ukraine from April 11 to 12, the General Staff of Ukrainian Armed Forces reported. According to the General Staff as of the evening of April 11, 347 Russian troops were neutralized on the Pokrovsk direction, 105 of whom were killed. In addition, Ukrainian forces destroyed one armored fighting vehicle, two artillery systems, 17 vehicles, three units of special equipment, an electronic warfare system, and a UAV control point, they also damaged three artillery systems and three vehicles.